meditation of STJ parishioners and thanking God for the day of yesterday, mm. continuing trusting Him every expression of our lives. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been in sin in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have faithful, through my fault, through my fault, through my own treasures fault. Therefore, I ask this mercy and grace, all religious and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Steer up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies of your kindness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unit of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. from the book of Revelation. I, God, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the abyss and a heavy chain. He seized the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil or Satan, and tried it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss, which he locked over it and sealed so that it will no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years are completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones. Those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God who had not worshipped the beast or his image, nor had accepted his mark on their forehead or hand. They kept to life and they reigned with Jesus for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne, and the one who was sitting on it, the earth and the sky cleared from his presence. And there was no place for them. I saw the dead, the great and the lowly, standing before the throne, as scroll were open. Then another scroll was open, the book of life. Then the dead were judged according to their deeds, by what was written in the throne. The sea gave up its dead. Then the dead and the enemy gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. The dead and heavy were thrown into the pool of fire. The pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Verse 4, so they said, Yeah, God, lives among his people. Yeah. 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 My soul, yeah, I fear for the cause of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Yeah. 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 Even the sparrow finds a hole and the swallow a net. In which the tipus are young. Your, your altar, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Yeah. Yeah. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are, they go from strength to strength. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Stand erect and raise your head because your redemption is at hand. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the, the fig tree and all the other trees. When their buds burst open, you see you for yourselves and know that summer is near, is now near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen. I, t I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you. most welcome to this Eucharistic celebration after thanking God yesterday for the Thanksgiving holiday. Today we are here again in front of him, asking him his graces, his blessings and protection that we go ahead in his own ways, in, the, in his ways of love, peace and unity. We are still continuing reflecting on the book of Revelation, whereby today John saw an angel in his vision tying up the dragon, Satan, the serpent, so that he can be imprisoned and chained for over a thousand years. As we know, the story of dragon, Satan, or serpent is connected to, the, to that story of Exodus chapter 3, whereby the serpent deceived or lured the woman Eva to go against God's commands. And here we see that the angel is tying this dragon so that he cannot continue deceiving people, cannot continue luring people into disobedience, into sin. Then immediately we see again in the same book of Revelation today, seeing another vision of a book of life being opened. And uh, there are the names of people who died some time back, but they, they are called to live. They have life with the, the Lord. So in the first reading today, we are called upon to be always attentive, not to give opportunity to the devil, this dragon, to lure us into sin, into disobedience, or to compromise with our vocation, our faith. We are called to remain strong in the ways of the Lord, through prayer, through the sacrament, through entrusting everything to God in prayer, with faith and hope. Then we are called to be people of light, advocates of light, 
so that our names are written in this book of life. Remember that in baptism, our names were written in that book of life. Are we still in that book of life? Oh, we have been ruined, deceived by this dragon, and we have gone astray. We pray for our young people. Many of them are being ruled by media. They continue believing and acting in a, in a way that is control, which is against the, uh, their Christian calling, their identity as Christians. We pray for them that this dragon should not steal them from God, that they remain strong in faith, strong in the church, strong in the sacrament. You parents and grandparents instructed them or guided them to receive. Also, we pray for the people who have fallen, that they may raise and come back to the right way, come back to God, come back to the sacrament and receive them with faith. There are many dragons, there are many uh, Satan or serpents which rule people. Let us continue being attentive, let us continue being people of life and make sure that eh, our names remain in that book of life in which we are written or registered during baptism. In the Gospel of today, Jesus is telling us to be observant of the signs of the time, that when we see the tree, the, the fig tree shading off, or uh, other sign, other trees, we know that it is almost summer, it is almost uh, autumn or winter. Two days, a few months ago, we are seeing the trees here with the, uh, yellow flowers or leaves falling, and people know that today the season is changing. We are always keen on that. So, as we are keen on the worldly things, we are also called to be keen on the, on the calling of God. To be observant, learning the signs of time. When you pass in the streets, in the stores, there are already signs of, of Christmas. Christmas trees are being sold, flowers are being sold. Before even beginning the, the Sunday of Advent, let us be observant that these signs lead us, inspire us, that we be transformed and be prepared to welcome the Lord in a proper way possible and celebrate it when we are really full of joy, full of that wholeness which we are called upon. We pray that the good Lord who gave us, who inspired us to come today, may continue inspiring us that our names remain in the book of life. Gathered as the board of Christ, we offer our petition to God our Father, that the church may continue to be empowered by the grace and mass of God in spreading the gospel message. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That all the ends of the earth may know the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That any who are experiencing rejection or failure may be strengthened and given hope through the good news of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That the grace of God's word and sacraments may transform us in the image of Christ's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all the faithful departed may rest in eternal peace in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our particular and special intentions, we offer them to the Lord in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, look with favor on the petitions we offer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your binding we dedicate your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. <coughs> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is yes. right. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Lord, Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all their beings praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and to face your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, we have just spread from the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of your resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And most on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph as spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, for our God's Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us from temptation, deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the angels, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the same of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should be in my life. But for the same world, and so shall she Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, the Mass is ended. Amen. Have a blessed day and a uh, good Black Friday. Thank you, Saint Michael.